Hello, my lovelies. So, someone brought up like that they could use some help with how wounds heal and why things take so long. So, wounds always heal from the bottom up and the outside in. That's why we um, talk about needing to pack a wound if you have a deep wound. So, if you have something deep like this guy, you've got to fill in all this space with a uh, dressing in order um, for it to heal because we don't want abscesses to form. That's why we talk about um, getting through the black stuff and the yellow stuff to get down to the red healthy tissue in order for the wound to heal. Um, even though sometimes it looks like it's closed like it could look like this and you'd be like, all right, it's just going to get better. And then it like doesn't, and then it opens and it looks more like this. That is how wounds heal. So the damage is done internally, whether it's from a surgery or let's say, um, a lipo burn or something like that. You've had the injury, it's deep and that deep tissue needs to heal first. So we've got to pack wounds and we've got to let them, we call them like evolve. So when it looks like this, we really have no clue what's going on underneath and how big the damage is because it's literally like you're looking at the tip of the iceberg. So we know there's um, a lack of blood flow. We know there's um, dead tissue in there, but we really don't know how bad it is. So that's why sometimes when you look at like how the lipo burn evolves, at first it looks like dark and purple and you're like, okay, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it's just going to go away. Sometimes they do. Um, and sometimes they don't. So usually when we don't really know what's going on, we keep it clean and covered and dry. Once you start putting like ointments and creams and lotions and balms and things on, you may cause it to open up faster. Once it starts to like start showing what it is, then it's time to go for a debridement. And there's lots of ways we can do that. There's some things that you can do from home. Um, sometimes you just can't do it from home and there's too much damage and it's a lot quicker to go get someone to debride it for you. So. If you're dealing with this situation, feel free to send me a picture. I'll let you know if I can help you. If I can help you, we'll set up a time to do a wound consultation, um, especially if you don't have anyone in your local area and I can help you out from home. And if I can't, then I'm gonna tell you, you need to go to urgent care for some antibiotics, most likely. You should obviously be calling your surgeon first, not me and then you may need to make an appointment for a wound care center but i know sometimes that's not an option for everybody and also sometimes it takes a few weeks so we can get things moving along in the meantime you can feel free to reach out you can reach out here you can find me on betterwounds.com and i'm also looking for some folks that are interested in trying something Besides just proper wound care, if it's still taking a long time, even though you're on the right product, then maybe it's tried time to try something else. So I'm looking for some people that are have an open wound. It's not really progressing. We think you're doing the right thing, but it's slow. Then I definitely want you to send me a message. All right. Hope you're good.